Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2, the playtest. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys a very good spot in the new Kiel Kennel area for, uh, for lure fishing. I bought myself the heaviest setup that I can have, so I spent my 14,000 currency. But first we are going to start with something that somebody post uh, under the video of yesterday and I had the same thoughts. So there is a very yeah, irritating, frustrating bug in the game. If you are fighting a fish, at some point the fish unhooks itself and that's not fun. I had the two on a very big uh, cot and uh, yeah, after 5 to 10 minutes the fish will just go away and uh, that's not really fun. But there is one of the developers that answered uh, in comment too. Hi, we are taking notes and working on a fix. So the guys are on it. Uh, so in the near future, I expect to get uh, like a solution. And that's needed because I had it yesterday too. Uh, on, on the lure fishing, it's a lot less than on the bobber fishing and on the feeder fishing. But it still can happen and it's not really fun. Because if you're fighting a very big fish and you think, okay, I'm getting it in and then suddenly he's gone. Yeah, it's, it's, it's breaking the game. And But I'm happy that they are working on it. So what I'm going to show you guys is, uh, it's crazy how much money that you can make here. The experience that you can make here. So I already fished a little bit. And you can see it here. So the sea trout, this is a small one, it's 200. But then you need to see the Atlantic cod. This is a 500 currency that I get from the fish. It's, uh, it's really crazy. Uh, but yeah, at the end, you don't really need the money anymore. Because you already got the, the biggest setup. But I think in the future, they going to implement more universal. And more floating, more feeder. Because at the moment, the main focus is, I think, at the spinning. Because you can see it in the shop too on the equipment. So you guys can see you can make a shitload of money here. I saw a video of a guy getting a 50 kilogram cot and it was 1300 currency. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys the position. But first we are going to start of course with the setup. Uh, okay. So if you go to the shop. The, this was right away the biggest problem. So universal rods they only go to 9 kilogram. That's really low. And then float rods is like, uh, no, they are not existing. Casting not existing in feeder. So the spinning rods at the moment, this is the biggest rod in test that you can have. It's 15 kilogram. I bought this one now. Uh, so therefore, I think that they are focused on spinning at the moment because all the other are going to 9 kilogram. And that's very low for certain fish here. Uh, I think some fish you even cannot land uh, with, with 9 kg in the new lake. So this is what I bought. So the 1202 XH. Uh, and then for the reels. And that's very strange. The reels you go a little bit further. I hope it's not intended that it's just the reel that need to be high to get the most strength. Because that's not how it works. Uh, so uh, but yeah. I, I don't know. I bought this one. So 18.10. Uh, this is the, the nice red one I bought. And then I bought, of course, a line that was 15 kilograms. So I'm coming to this setup. You guys can see it here. So here you go. 15 kilograms, 18 kilograms, and 16.6 kilograms. So it's nicely under. Uh, no, it's above my rod. Uh, but that's not really a problem, it seems. That was not really good, but yeah, it works, this setup. And then I'm going with the 95F that you can still uh, use in this area. So we are going to fish now. Uh, so let's go to the area. And I'm going to show you guys now the spot that I'm fishing. Yesterday, after the first video, I already had a lot of fish over there. A very big fish. So it's under the bridge. Once again, under the bridge. So you just come over here. And I'm going to put my flashlight on. The flashlight is one of the best features in the game. Uh, so uh, I, I think it works a lot better. Because even the, the days are very dark in this game. I can understand this is a cloudy day. But still it's, uh, it's a little bit too dark. And it's over here. So you just park yourself here. Let's get the setup out. Speed 30. And let's have a look that I can get some very big fish. Uh, here you can, so at the moment, uh, yeah, yesterday I already told you guys it in the video, at the moment you need to do this, so what would I do? I would like, uh, yeah, get like 14,000 currency, it's not that complicated here in this, uh, in this game getting money. 
So uh, I farmed it in the previous area in Slovakia and in this area, but you can make a lot of money in this game. Experience wise, it's very easy too to make it uh, because you need to imagine uh, we are not using premium. It's just like like uh, it's just like uh, the game. So there is no buffer or boost that I'm using. So and I think it's more than enough because at the moment I already got a very good setup and I need to say that the yesterday i like details on the the reels and the rods and i need to say that they put the effort in the rods too you can see i'm not sure that you can see it but it looks really good the the rod design there is like nice graphical settings on it the reel yesterday my previous reel he had like uh little holes in the handle and I like that. I think there are a lot of fishermen that like it. I, I don't think there are fishermen that just like, okay, if it is black, it's okay. If it is white, no. There has to be some custom made stuff on it. And I need to say, they, they, they are doing a really good job because the, the graphic and how gear looks is important too in the game. It's not the most important, but you can see if you check Fishing Planet, and here a very good sender, 8 kilograms. If you see Fishing Planet, they are selling DLCs, but the DLCs are just skins. It's not more or less than that. But to be honest, I like to fish with rods like that. Uh, and if I see how many DLCs that, that Fishing Planet sells, if I see people play, most of them, they got DLC. And uh, that's, that's how important it is. And that's really good that they already invest some time in it and... Uh, yeah, it's needed because I was yesterday looking to a stream and that guy, he had another spinning stem, I'm not sure. And uh, I, I loved the handle. It was like a handle, a, a, a big part, and then a small, and then a big again. Uh, so that's that's really cool. That's really cool. And you guys can see it. This is, I still don't yet get a very big fish, but here you need to fish. And it's very active. It's the entire time very, very active. If the activeness stops, yeah, just exit the game, come back under the bridge, and you go again. That's at the moment what you need to do. You catch everything here. Uh, is, no, I, that's not right. I didn't get a gar here. But beside the gar, I think I got uh, everything here. You can come, of course, with other setup that I used in the yesterday video. But I got the impression if you go for the cot, uh, it's it's a little bit not strong enough. Sturgeon is problematic too. You will get the sea trout sometimes is problematic too. So uh, I would save up for this one. You can come here and just build up. The stash here of money. Try to get the setup that I'm using. And I hope that we are going to get some decent fish. It's possible that they are not going to bite. You need to have a little bit of luck too. There is a lot of randomizing in the game. And this, yeah, it's small fish at the moment. But it's not that bad. Uh, fish, getting fish is getting fish, I always say. And this is a small asp. It's a mini asp, to be honest. And there is the balloon. So a couple of more casts and then I'm going to end the video guys. So I'm going to uh, yeah, build it up a little bit. And that's a little bit a pity at the moment because what is the problem? The, the first week with the playtest we had like uh, two lakes I think. It was Poland and Jackson but they were both new. Yeah, half new because we had already Jackson in the demo. Uh, but the main problem now is that at the moment uh, I'm hitting a little bit on the limits of the fun so i got now and this is a good one now and nice nice so what is the biggest problem i'm level 21 i can level a little bit more to get uh, to get more money or to get uh, new uh, baits unlocked and all that stuff but at the moment i'm on the highest spinning setup so there's it stops uh, equipment wise i cannot go for float fishing feeder fishing because the equipment is not here it's not optimized yet and that's a pity because you always, even in a playtest, you always need um, this fish. What the hell is he doing? You guys can see it. This is the highest spinning setup and he's just taking line. And I hope that we don't get the fish unhooked. What kind of fish is this? Whoa. Did you guys see it? This is a Welsh catfish, but I think a 30, 40 kilogram one. So let's hope that he don't on, uh, unhook. And you guys can see the bending is good. The bending is good on the reel. It's a little bit... Uh, 
yeah not going fast enough for me if you do this but it's it's just a, a minor problem in my op op opinion but you can see the fight is a lot better so typical catfish behavior uh, so very slow going away it's like an, a u-boat that uh, submarine that uh, that they uh, do and you can see it here so he's going slow but you can right away feel this is a very big fish it's going to be my personal best and at the moment he's getting lined because i can see it at the bottom right so let's hope that i can keep him so that's what i wanted to say to you guys this is the heaviest spinning setup and even on this setup it's a fight it's a fight and this is a very big catfish guys jesus christ I saw yesterday a 50 kilogram one here. And please game, please. Let me get it in. Let me get it in, please. Yeah, he's getting in line again. He's now at 50 meters. Okay, 47. Now he comes a little bit closer. But I think he just swims to me. At the moment, he's not fatigued. But it's a very good place, this one. A lot of very big fish that you can catch here. And I'm ha very happy. It's now already a couple of days active. So yeah, he's gone again. Now he's on 50 meters. Let's have a look again. Yeah, I, I don't even think that he knows that he's hooked at, at the moment. He's coming now to the surface. A pity that we cannot zoom in, but I guess it will come in the future. Yeah, and I'm getting really nervous because the main problem I already told you guys is the longer the fight takes, the more chance that I got that the fish unhooks. And I'm going to be a little bit salty on that moment. Because this fish is uh, not fatigued at all. He's just getting more and more line. You guys hear it on the clicking of my, uh, of my reel. He's still making progress. It's now almost 60 meters. I got at the moment 138 meters on this setup. So I still got room. I can let him go. Yeah, he's even jumping very, very nice. So he's jumping out of the water now. And that's that's something that is you guys can see now. Now the line, yeah. The line is full tension. But the problem is, I, I showed you guys it, so my rod is like one kilogram less than my line. And now I'm almost at 90% recht. And if you check my rod, the pressure on my rod is not the amount of kilograms of my, uh, my reel. Normally that need to go a lot higher than the reel too. So the reel is now the half uh, and it's 18 kilograms and my line is 18 kilograms too. So... Uh, it's a little bit less, so it's not full pressure. I'm not sure why that is, because in Fishing Planet it's... it's uh, normally now, everything is going to the red. Maybe that's more normal, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a fisherman in real life, but in real life, nobody fish like this. So nobody knows the tension on the line or the rod or the reel or something like that. Uh, so that's uh, yeah, specific for games, but it's, it's totally different. I would suggest... Uh, not suggest, but I would think that now at the moment everything is in the red because it's almost a balanced setup in my opinion. Oh, no. 60 meters, guys. He's not, uh, he's not coming in. Sixty-two. I, I'm not sure what is going to happen if he spools me. If he spools me, I'm probably going to break my rod. So uh, I'm not going to let that happen because I want to keep my rod. Uh, my rod is like 4,000 currency. Yeah, he keeps his almost 70 meters. Let's have a look again under the water. Yeah, 70 meters, guys. Yeah, here we go. I was expecting this. So that's a pity. Uh, so now I'm a little bit salty, but... I told you guys it, but I started the video, they are working on it, on this bug. But that was it guys for the video, that's how you need to do it. Um, and I see you guys in the next video. I'm off to work, have a nice weekend, bye bye.